What is up, Sacktown? It's Sacktown Pete back at it again. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I sure did. We ended up winning tonight. Played against the Indiana Pacers. The final score was 127 to 122. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the numbers with the starting five, and let's talk about tonight's game. Let's start off with De'Aaron Fox. In 38 minutes, he had 21 points, 5 rebounds, 9 assists. Harrison Barnes, in 38 minutes, he had 30 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists. Rashad Holmes, in 36 minutes, he had 16 points, 10 boards, 3 assists, 6 blocks. Buddy Heald, in 31 minutes, he had 18 points, 4 boards, 3 assists. And Marvin Bagley, in 23 minutes, he had 8 points, 7 boards, 2 assists. And to the bench we go. Glenn Robinson, the third, in 21 minutes, he had 7 points, 3 boards, 2 assists. Corey Joseph, in 15 minutes, he had 7 points, 2 rebounds, 4 assists. Hassan Whiteside, in 10 minutes, he had 8 points, 2 boards. And Tyrese Halliburton, in 29 minutes, he had 12 points, 3 boards, 4 assists. And... The starting five for the Pacers, Sabonis in uh, 40 minutes, he had 28 points, 11 boards, 3 assists. Malcolm Brogdon in 38 minutes, he had 24 points, 4 boards, 9 assists. Oladipo in 37 minutes, he had 21 points, 3 boards, 4 assists. Holiday in 34 minutes, he had 8 points, 5 boards, 2 assists. And Miles Turner in 30 minutes, he had 6 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. So let's get into the game. A couple of things that stood out to me. We had five players in double figures. We had a we had a team uh, high of 30 assists. Those two, anytime you have five players in double figures and you have at least 30 assists uh, in a ball game, the chances of winning the ball game are really high. And tonight, this team responded. They played really well. They executed. They moved the ball. Uh, they played freaking defense. Buddy Heald, who I've been mentioning that name a lot this season, he stepped it up tonight. He stepped it up. Uh, he made a big shot down the stretch, and he got the ball on a loose play. And that game, that, that play, that instant of the game, gave us a it went from a one point lead to a four point lead with that three pointer. So. Buddy Hill, I know I've been on you, and tonight you came through on 6-11 shooting. You had 18 points, and the funny thing about it, the 6-11 shooting, they're all they're all from from downtown. So 50%, I'll take that, Buddy Hill. I'll take my head off to you. But the most pertinent person, this game, uh, the ball game goes to Mr. Harrison Barnes. Uh, Black Falcon tonight, 30 points. Eight boards, two assists, 10 of 14 uh, shooting, eight of eight from the line, and two of three from downtown. Harrison Barnes has been probably the most consistent player this whole season so far, and I did not expect that. If you would have told me that Harrison Barnes would have been the most consistent player coming into the season, I would have said no. There's just no way. And you know what? I'm glad he's proven me wrong. He has played really well tonight. He has played really well. The, uh, throughout this whole season so far, and I'm happy. I'm proud of him. You know, he took a lot of backlashing of getting extended last season, signing that new big contract that he got. And uh, hey, this season so far, it's shown it's paying dividends for us. It's seeing it's showing us that he can still become a very capable player, and he's earned it. He's earned it. So so far, it looks like he's earned it, and I'm happy for HB. Uh, I'm so glad that he's playing really well. And uh, how about De'Aaron Fox towards the end of the game? That dunk just to seal it at the end? Oh, man. That, I think he caught a body on that play, too. I think he had uh, Malcolm Brogdon, who was trying, who was underneath the rim when he got up in the air, and he took off for a dunk, and he caught Brogdon's body at the end. And I'm happy because that's what Malcolm Brogdon gets, you know. I, I never forgot when he... When he lowered his shoulder and uh, blew out Marvin Bagley in his rookie year when he's playing with the Milwaukee Bucks. So you know what? What goes around comes around. That's what you get. So, but yeah, <laughs> anyways, uh, the bench did really well. I liked that, what I saw from Glenn Robinson at third. You know, he came in, made a couple shots, a couple of difficult shots. Um, man, Corey Joseph came in and played really well. You know, Hassan Whiteside was Hassan Whiteside. Another 10 minutes he got. He was 4-4, four four, um, 8 points. 
Um, and then Halle Burton just, he, we already know what Halle Burton can do. Uh, came in, did work, and uh, led to a victory. And uh, I'm just happy. I'm happy with this team effort. I'm happy with this good team win. Um, everybody looks like they contributed to this team win. Uh, you know, Bagley, 20, 20, 23 minutes, eight, eight point seven boards, you know, two assists, two blocks. So I like the fact that, especially in the second half in that third quarter, they got after it defensively. It's like, where was this passion in, on the defensive end the last two, three games? And maybe with Hassan Whiteside coming out and speaking up, saying that, hey, these players got to be held accountable for their defensive collapses. And I'm glad Hassan Whiteside came in out and said that because Hassan Whiteside is known for his defense. He is known for his defense, and I'm so glad he came out and called the players out. Maybe this game was just a wake-up call to get their shit right on the defensive end, and they did. They got it right. They got it done tonight, and they beat a really good Pacers team. You know, this Pacers team is really good. They got all-star level talents in Oladipo, and they have a good, around, a well-rounded team all around Oladipo. And Sabonis, and uh, they have uh, Malcolm Brogdon. They have the Holidays, and they have uh, Dougie McBuckets coming off the bench. So I'm proud of our team win tonight. I really am proud of our team win tonight. Um, I am looking forward to Wednesday's game, that rematch against the Blazers. I'm really looking forward to that because I hope this team knows that the next opponent uh, is the opponent that they gave up 125 points on Saturday night. And um, I expect a different game. I expect us to be more aggressively engaged on the defensive end, uh, just like how we were tonight. I hope tonight's efforts in the defensive end and even offensively, uh, we need more. The more players in double figures, the better for us. Uh, I hope that carries over to Wednesday night's game against the Blazers. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of uh, better play against the Blazers than I saw previous game on Saturday night. So, but I enjoyed tonight's win. I enjoyed tonight's win. I, you know, I, I'm Ohio State fan, as I mentioned before, and they got work tonight. They lost badly to Bama and uh, kind of bummed out about that. But, I mean, I guess it is what it is. It always sucks to be on the losing end, especially in a, especially when your team's playing in a championship uh, game. And But that's okay because I've seen Ohio State Buckeyes win multiple championships in my lifetime. So, But obviously, don't get me wrong. I wanted them to win tonight. It just wasn't meant to be. They lost badly. But I'm so happy to see the Kings win tonight because if the Kings would have lost uh, tonight, there's uh, it probably would have been the worst Monday night ever. So I'm so glad the Kings won tonight, and it makes up somewhat of the disappointing night that I've had. But uh, I'm happy. I'm happy to see the Kings win. Obviously, uh, it would have been worse if they lost. But no, tonight they well, I always question, you know, how are they going to bounce back the, the after the weekend they had, and. Tonight, they bounce back against a respectable, good uh, Indiana Pacers team. So let me know what you guys think. That's going to do it for me, guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Please hit the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And um, I just, I'm looking forward to the next game against the Blazers. And I'm looking forward to the whole week. I'm looking forward to the Friday's game against the Clippers because the Clippers are the Clippers. They have, you know, Kawhi and PG. But let's take it one game at a time. Let's see what we can, how we're going to bounce back against Dame and CJ on Wednesday night. And then that we'll, we'll see how we go on Friday night against PG and Kawhi. So that's going to do it for me tonight, guys. I'm so happy that the Kings won tonight and they were able to bounce back, you know, offensively and most importantly, defensively. They were able to bounce back. They needed the stops. They need, when they needed the stop, they got them when they needed them. And uh, just, 30 plus assists is so so beautiful to see that stat sheet that stat on the stat sheet and the having of uh five multiple I mean multiple players five players in this case and double digit scoring that's a thing of beauty and I'm proud of how this team played tonight and I'm so glad they got the win tonight all right guys it's gonna do it for me you guys take care have a good night and uh you know stay safe stay healthy keep pushing forward and God bless. I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.